Good morning. I'm going to tie a black hopper today. This is from the infamous Eagle Claw pack. It's the larger hook, the largest hook of the three. There's three sizes there. I've already mushed down the barbs on the top of the hook and on the point. If it sings, it's ready. Start off with black thread. This is 8 aught black uni thread. I'm going to move this over some so you can see more what's going on here. There. Okay. I'm just going to cover. Need a good thread base. If you're someone who's never tied before, the whole point of putting the thread base on is to make the hook rough so that things can stick to it. Otherwise, if you just put string, put the materials next to the hook and string over it, the material can slide out. This gives it some grip. You can feel the edge is rough. Uh, so my materials are going to be black craft foam. pheasant tail legs black micro chenille and that's about it and take the craft foam I'm going to cut this probably twice as long as the hook. I'm going to take that. Snip one in down like that. It doesn't have to be a point because you're going to just tie it in and it's going to bring it to a point. Anyway. So. Oh, I don't want to start with that. I forgot. I want to start with not only the pheasant tail legs, but a pheasant tail barb or two. You can also do this with deer hair or get two barbs. Crickets have little tails that stick out. Now technically they have one that sticks out in the middle and then two that flare out to the sides. And you can do that with biots. They're called biots. But I don't know where mine are. So this will work just as well. I'm just going to take two like this, tie them in. Make sure they're on top. Make sure they're the same length. There we go. 
couple more turns on that so they lock in. And they keep moving on me. There. If you need them to separate off, if they're not staying where you want them, you can put kind of a tie between them. They kind of have a mind of their own today. And with this, I'm just going to wrap it around. You don't have to do this. It just adds to the body. Ah, oh, forget it. <laughs> You know, sometimes things just don't do what you want them to do. And then you just take them back off and cut them off. What else? This is what real fly tying is about. It's about doing something you think is going to work and it not working. And then you do something a little different. And that's okay. Because at the end, you'll either have a really cool fly or you'll have a hook with a bunch of crap tied on it. So now I'm going to tie in my foam. I'm going to tie the point in backwards first. So crickets are fat on this end and they taper forward and then have kind of a head. Not a huge taper, they're pretty fat all the way down. I come from Texas where there's a lot of crickets. Um, in this town that I went to school in, they used to have something called Cricket Fest because there were so many crickets around. In the fluorescent light covers, there would be crickets everywhere. There'd be hundreds of them. Alright, so next. Oh, and the legs on a cricket are attached in the middle of the body like right here not at the front or the very back they're right in the middle of the body and they go backwards and then there's a couple of legs in the front um, so the next thing is going to be my chenille this is going to build up the tail end this chenille is not fly tying chenille um, I got this from Walmart or Joann's or somewhere like that it's uh it's meant for crocheting and it is a it's a chenille with a second piece wrapped around it that makes it fuzzy and so you can just take the chenille and pull it well you can <laughs> you can pull it away and separate this thread from it see there's two parts so this has already been separated off I have used this for flies, but it wasn't very effective. Maybe it was just the flies that I tied. Maybe if I tried it again, it would work better. But So I'm going to roll this forward to where I want to tie the legs in. So that will be the halfway point where the legs are. Now I'm going to take the chenille. This is way too long to work with. I'm going to cut some off. i cut off a long piece to get it out of the way and I made it shorter and easier to work with so I'm just gonna wrap this around till I basically till I use it up uh, as long as I end up where my thread is One more turn. That's about all I can handle. Okay. Tie off this extra lump right here. I'm going to cut off the extra lump. I'm going to fold this forward. I'm going to tie in my legs first. Yeah. Alright, so. I took pheasant tail, barbs, and I tied 
a knot in the, I took two at a time and tied knots in them so that when you tie one on, it has the look of a leg. I'm going to take two of these that are similar lengths so they'll be matching. These are pretty long ones, so they'll be kind of overstated, which is fine. So here's my here's my two legs. I mean, these things are so cool. They look literally like you broke legs off of a bug. Like you grabbed a daddy long legs or something. Now these are a little bit thin for a cricket. Usually a cricket has, obviously, fattier legs than these. And that's okay, too. They still are going to look like legs sticking off of a bug. If you wanted to be more realistic, you could maybe tie six together and break off a couple extra ones so they taper down real good. Okay, there's two. You can even make these out of foam if you want to, but then you get a really fat... You have really fat legs, maybe too fat. These are not going the way I want them. Something like that. Man, that one's really going to look like a dead bug because that leg keeps falling off. Maybe I'll do that way. That's better. Okay. Tie down that stump. Now, pinch this over. Now, be careful with this 8 aught thread because if you try to pull it down too tight, you'll break the thread. forgot that we need also black feather or since my legs are brown I could also use brown hackle I think I'll use brown hackle I'm just gonna use one of these it's very light color it'll give some contrast that's fine. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this back. I'm going to put it here. I'm not going to pull that back. I'm going to tie this down. That's what I'm doing. And then I'll come in and tie, tie in the brown hackle. I'm going to take off this webby part. I'm going to take the barbs off of this whole side of the, the whole side of the feather. I think I need a different backdrop. I have a white backdrop, and you can't see very well when I'm using these light-colored feathers. Okay, this will be pretty good. So that when I go over the top, I have that going. Okay, take off that web part. If I wanted a more realistic cricket, again, I would use fatter legs in the back. And I would use a black feather here instead. Um, 
but you know sometimes contrast attracts the fish I'll make it think that it's a little bit better bug than the normal okay all right so I'm gonna go back forward a little a little speck of this around right at the base of the thorax kind of cross itself make it flare out some so you get several turns here This fly, well, I could probably tie a hundred flies like this and they could all be the same, or I could tie a hundred flies like this and they would all be different. Um, it's just kind of the way that I tie flies. Bring this forward some. I'm going to tie this. It stays on top. Like that. Then I'm going to roll this back, back here to where these feathers are. And leave that little hump there. I'm going to fold this back. It's okay, I'm squishing down these barbs. I'll push that forward a touch. I'm pressing down those barbs because I really only need the feathers to stick out on the bottom, not on the top. I'm just going to keep going until I get that a little more defined like that. So this is a half hitch. What I do is I wrap this around my finger and cross underneath and then put that down on the hook touch the hook and pull it off my finger if I can get it to come off come on there and I'm going to pull it tight underneath the hook without catching the barbs of the feather as much as possible do that again so over my finger and under my finger so that it crosses put that down in the groove Pull it down. I'm going to hold it here so it doesn't catch the barbs. There. And then I'm going to go for my final tie off. I'm going to go over my finger once. I'm going to go over my finger again, but behind. Pull this down a little bit. Let's see? So I went over the first time here, over the second time here. And pull that down so I have enough string to work with and cut it off. And then, so that cut off the tag right here. I'm going to go in this loop. I grab it kind of with my fingernail like that so I can move it. And I grab the second string. Pull it through and put it back where it was. I go through again. Grab the second string. Pull it through again. And this time, with the loop, being right in the groove where I want it, I'm going to hold this so that it doesn't go anywhere as I pull it down. Otherwise, it can flare over and catch your feathers and get in the way. And that's all I need to tie it off, just that one tie. Just pull it down tight. Come in and snip that. Now, I could have made this a little longer on the hook here, which would have used up more of this. But I think it'll still be fine. I'm going to take this. You can either cut a V notch out of this so it looks more like wings. Although crickets don't really have wings. They have... Yeah, 
they just have a smooth body so I'm just gonna round this off or kind of point it in and that'll be fine like that so now legs now again this emulates a cricket it is not meant to be an exact duplicate of a cricket if I wanted to do that I would use different materials in some places um, okay and I take my trusty clear nail polish pull this to the side just kind of put that in. You can actually, I'm actually going to coat this a little bit because crickets are a little shiny. I'll put a coating of gloss on that foam. Yeah, I'll just leave that to dry, but you can see what it's going to look like shining in the water. And there's the underbelly. So, I could have tied that same thing on a shorter hook, or I could have made this go further back a little bit. Would have given the body a little more curve. If I tied another one, I would probably do that. I'd probably bring it back to here instead of there. But otherwise, uh, I think it'll catch fish. So there's a black hopper. Hope you enjoyed it. Good day to you.